Growth in wind power generation, like solar, is being driven by climate change and the need to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. The wind industry has grown significantly over the past dozen years, with capacity up fivefold from 180 gigawatts in 2010 to over 900 gigawatts in 2022. Although the growth rate has slowed the past couple of years due to the challenging economic environment and global supply chain disruptions, as these issues are resolved, Incoris expects the strong growth trend in wind power generating capacity to continue to 2030 and beyond for both onshore and offshore wind power generating capacity. So, what is driving this strong growth? Number one, China's commitment to expand the role of renewables in their energy mix. In fact, China is expected to account for over 50% of new wind installations over the next seven years. Number two, Europe's energy system reform leads to strong growth in wind power generation in a number of European countries. Essentially, the European market is expected to return to strong growth sometime after this year. And number three, an anticipated uplift in North America with 100 gigawatts in new onshore capacity being added by 2030. About 90% of this is in the US. Another factor enabling continued growth in the wind power generation is the decline in costs from continued technology and process improvements. To levelize cost of energy, this is the present value of the total cost to build and operate a facility over its estimated life, have generally been declining since 2010 for both onshore and offshore wind generation. Note that the LCOE has not been adjusted to reflect 100% load factor or capacity factor. So although the true cost would be higher, directionally it still holds true. Anyway, while recent issues of supply chain challenges and capex increases have slowed the downtrend, as these issues clear up over the next couple of years, Incoris expects the LCOE to continue downward to 2030, with the onshore segment dropping to about 30 US dollars per megawatt hour and the offshore to about 70 dollars per megawatt hour. These lower costs should stimulate continued growth of the wind industry. Now, looking ahead, Incoris is forecasting global wind power capacity to exceed the 1 terawatt mark sometime this year and will almost double approaching 2 terawatt range by 2030. This is less than the previous forecast of 2.5 terawatts by 2030, with the drop primarily attributed to construction delays, especially in Europe. Looking at the split between onshore and offshore, onshore capacity increases from about 850 gigawatts in 2022 to 1750 gigawatts in 2030, while offshore capacity grows from about 65 gigawatts to 250 gigawatts. Offshore growth outpaces onshore, with the offshore market share increasing from 7% in 2022 to over 12% in 2030. As in the solar power industry, China will lead the way in capacity additions, growing at an average annual rate of 13%, from about 400 gigawatts to over 1,000 gigawatts in 2030. The U.S. comes in at a distant second, increasing from just 140 gigawatts to almost 300 gigawatts. That's about 9% per year. And Germany ranks third, growing from under 60 gigawatts to about 130 gigawatts. Looking at the 2030 market share of global wind capacity, the three largest countries combined represent over 70% of the total. China actually increases their market share from 43% in 2022 to over 50% in 2030, while the US and Germany generally remain unchanged over the same time period at about 14% and 7% respectively. One of the main reasons why China leads the world in wind generation is their dominance in both onshore and offshore nacelle production facilities. The nacelle is the housing located on top of the wind turbine tower that contains all of the generating components like the gearbox, drivetrain, generator and brakes. Of the total onshore and offshore nacelle facilities currently operating, China accounts for 65% and 70% respectively, while they account for 85-90% to of facilities under construction or announced. And not only does China control the majority of nacelle production facilities, they also account for almost three quarters of the production of the key wind turbine components. Needless to say, with China accounting for the majority of the wind energy supply chain, some regions, 
especially Europe, will likely experience supply shortages that will hinder their planned growth in their wind power ambitions. <laughs>